know if it's the biggest problem, but I think one of our challenges is one of perception. The idea that Green Bay maybe isn't as, as open or as welcoming as we might be uh, to new faces and new ideas. So I think we need to make it clear that this is a community um, that is open to everybody, that is really interested in, in taking in that input, especially from young people who are interested in participating fully in our society. Um, as far as things that I've been actively engaged in personally, um, you know, I'm really proud to be um, one of the folks who started up YPAC um, as a member of the Member Relations Committee within Current uh, now a couple years back, um, so very proud of that achievement. Um, I've also been serving on the Economic Development Authority for the City of Green Bay for the past few years, and in that capacity, you know, I've had a role in, uh, in approving the uh, expansion of Schwab International's headquarters out on the far east side of Green Bay, as well as uh, fairly recently uh, approving the construction of 901 Main Street, uh, which is, I think, an exciting development uh, that hopefully will be attractive to young professionals in the community. One of the most important roles that a mayor has is appointing department heads, but also appointing members to boards and commissions. Um, so I'm very much committed to making sure that um, those who are appointed are, are representative of the population of the city of Green Bay. Uh, we are an increasingly diversifying um, community, and it's important that uh, our next mayor um, recognizes that and, and appoints folks who have that perspective and that experience and can fully represent the community of Green Bay. Um, in addition to that, I'm familiar with uh, some of the work that the Chamber has done recently with regard to their CEO pledge, uh, focusing on diversity and inclusion. And, uh, you know, I just want to be clear that on the first day in office, I'd be very happy to commit to that um, in order to use the platform of mayor to make it clear that, that we are, you know, a very welcoming community and interested in, in celebrating that. So I'm not sure if it's necessarily the highest priority, but I think the, the area where I can have the most impact as the next mayor is on this uh, idea of placemaking, um, because I think it's really where you can impact a lot of those other areas that, that were discussed. Um, and it's, it's also an area where the mayor can have the most impact. Um, the built environment is something that, that we all have control over as a policymakers, city council members, and, and mayors. And, and I think that's where we have um, a lot of room to grow. I think what's been done at, uh, in the Titletown District by the Packers is sort of a mind-expanding experience for a lot of people. Um, and it's an example that we need to take to heart when we're talking about constructing uh, the future of the city of Green Bay. So, you know, of course, we do have this, the city deck. Um, we have uh, you know, a series of amazing parks in the city of Green Bay, Bay Beach and the Wildlife Sanctuary. We also have Colburn, we have Preble Park, and we have uh, you know, Baird Creek. And I think um, some of those areas are, are where we can really focus some new energy um, to enliven them, um, to really deepen uh, the value that they offer to the community. And I think that's what you know, young people are looking for, certainly, are some of those interesting amenities. Um, they're highly mobile, they have a lot of options when they're looking at communities to locate in, and we need to be right there, you know, very competitive with what's on offer um, around the state and around the country. Um, and it's not just young people who are looking for those. You know, it's, it's folks uh, who are empty nesters and everybody in between. I mean, people are really looking to get active and come together as a community. Um, so again, I think that's kind of at the heart of a lot of those other issues, you know, bringing people together, um, making sure that people have spaces in which to be active, um, to meet people of different backgrounds and experiences, uh, making interesting places and, and an interesting built environment is really at the, at the cornerstone of that. 